So today we're going to be working on changing out a wheel bearing on our 2018 F-150 because this passenger side over here is completely shot. So when you're driving your truck or your car, one of the things that you note when you're having a wheel bearing issue is it's going to get louder and louder from one of the wheels. And it could turn into a point where it's squeaking. It could, on my truck, it was actually more of a grinding sound and it sounded like it had essentially larger mud tires on it than it does and it was definitely noticeable. Now to figure out which side it was, the easiest way to do that is to take the car for a drive and turn left and turn right. And when you turn left, you're gonna be putting a lot of the vehicle weight on the right side. When you turn right, you're gonna be putting a lot of the vehicle weight on the left side. So by doing that, you are loading up one of the wheel bearings and when you're loading up that wheel bearing, it'll get louder if it's the one that has an issue. Now for the first step, I'm gonna loosen the lug nuts and then jack the truck up and get it in the air. Now we can jack the car. Jack's gonna run for safety. Now next I need to remove this cap here. So you can actually pry it off. You don't need to use the hammer so you don't damage it. Now I'm gonna take this nut off, but first we're gonna take this caliper off. We're gonna take off the two large bolts on the other side and hang it somewhere up here so that nothing gets damaged. So the two bolts that we're gonna be taking off are back here. You can see they're the two larger ones that are on the caliper. I think they're 21 millimeter. Now what's important for this job is a good breaker bar. Now I've done these brakes recently, so everything is semi-new and going in and off easily. Okay, with the caliper off, I'm gonna take it off. I'm gonna attempt to hang it. And this up here, that's hung, not stressed, and out of the way. Now we're gonna get this bolt off here. It should only be like 20 foot pounds, so it shouldn't be too hard to take off. Okay, so that's coming off nice and easily. Now you can see the four hub bolts back here. They're on the outside of the hub itself. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna take those off and let the hub fall out. So one, two, then two on the other side. So these are gonna be 18 millimeters well. And like everything else, Torqued on probably pretty heavy, so I'm gonna use a breaker bar again. Oh, not that bad. They're rotating, which is what's really important with these bolts. So for the other two, they're on this side. I turn the wheel all the way to the right, so now that I can get to them and then take it off. Now before we remove the hub assembly, I'm gonna take this bolt out, which is gonna disconnect this wire so that I can pull the wire out. And I'm gonna to have to go up there and disconnect it from the engine compartment as well. So this bolt here is a uh, eight millimeter. Now I decided it's probably gonna be easier to take these off than to try to fish this wire through. So I'm gonna take these three eight millimeters off and then should be able to remove it as soon as I disconnect the wire. Now the wire is back here, so all we need to do is disconnect it. So these wires here, and then pull it all the way through to the other side. Now we gotta disconnect all these little trees and everything that are on it. The new one does come with them, so I don't need to worry about saving them. So I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect everything. And we should be able to just pull this right out. Now this is where one of these small pry tools come really helpful to get these out and out of the way. So, now that all these are done, I can just fish this through and take this off. 
Perfect. Now while we do this, it's important that we torque everything to where it should be. So make sure you check the torque specs on your car before you put everything back together. Most of the torques, if not all of them, are available online. And to be able to get the bolts, I like to turn the wheel yet again to be able to get to where I need to get to. Now we're gonna see if we can torque this one down without having to have our foot on the brakes. So let's see. So this one on my truck is 30 foot pounds. So I'm able to hold this and get to, the, get to 30. All right, this back on. Rotor next. Now you should make sure you have put on the right Loctite on these because you don't want them to rattle out. And you know, you're probably better off and I think it's recommended that you actually re replace these bolts rather than reuse the ones that you took off. And then they get torqued to 184 foot pounds or something like that for my truck. But make sure you check your truck to see what it's supposed to be. Okay, so the wires all ran back, you gotta tighten that one, but it's connected there, connected there, connected up at the top, up there, and then ran it all the way back up and plugged it back in. And then I closed the little red latch on it, so it's in place. Now, if, you, if this video was helpful to you, don't forget to subscribe. I do a lot of my truck, I do a lot of my Mustangs that I have, as well as I'm building a kit car now. And subscribing, you can follow kind of all the maintenance and the work that I'm doing to this truck, testing out different mods, as well as seeing all the other projects on this channel. Okay, so I took the truck off for a drive and everything seems good. The wheel bearing is much quieter now, you can't hear it. I can hear the tires a little bit. After you do one side, you're most likely going to have to do the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do that one next. I appreciate everyone for tuning in. Thanks for tuning in to Smacky's Garage. I'll see you next week. We'll have some more pro car projects to do.